Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves. Let's see what we have here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, and love messages <clears throat> for Virgo. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Virgo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit, clarity. Guidance, love messages for Virgo, please. Okay. So Virgo, we've got the Ace of Wands here. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the World card. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. So Virgo, this could be your side. This could be your person's side. You take it as it resonates. We've got the Knight of Cups under the deck. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So Virgo, the person on this side, what I feel is happening is we have two people in the picture. We've got one that you have amazing chemistry with sexually. So I don't know if this is you, Virgo. This could be you or your person. So someone here has two people, two situations. One that is very passionate and one that is more loving, okay? It's more about the heart space. Now, with the world card and the two of pentacles, someone has to choose because one of these obviously has to go, okay? Um, with the knight of cups here, this could be an indication that someone's going to choose love. Uh, I feel that with the knight of cups, you know, Maybe both of these people are offering a cup of love. I don't know. Uh, Virgo, you may be leaning more towards the love and not the sex, okay? Or whoever is on this side may be leaning more towards the emotional person versus the sexual person, okay? Tell me about the Ace of Wands, please. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. So we have the Four of Cups. And we have the King of Cups in the reverse. So what I'm feeling here, guys, is with this Ace of Wands energy, it's like a one night stand. You guys drink, you get drunk, maybe, you, you know, you, you get a little tipsy here. Um, with the Four of Cups energy, though, it's like there's uh, maybe boredom or um, dissatisfaction. Like emotionally, there's no satisfaction with this ace of wands the sex is great but there's no emotional love there there there's no emotional fulfillment okay tell me about the ace of cups tell me about the ace of cups please tell me about the ace of cups please the ace of cups please the ace of cups please so we've got the full card in the reverse and we've got the lover's card in the reverse so virgo someone here is falling in love and someone here no longer wants to take the risk of being in a third party situation someone here no longer wants to take the risk of being tempted um someone here just no longer wants to take that risk tell me about the world card please we've got the five of pentacles one of them has to go virgo tell me about the two of pentacles and the eight of swords yeah uh, so Virgo, you're going to have some thinking to do here. You're a little stuck in your head. Um, you're realizing here that you have to be fair. Fair is fair. Okay. With the five of cups, uh, maybe someone is starting to feel some guilt, some remorse. Someone here is realizing that they need to be fair in this situation. So I feel that Virgo, um, a decision is being made and I feel that, um, I feel that what's happening is with the Ace of Wands energy, someone communicated their feelings. Someone expressed themselves maybe one drunk night or whatever, and the emotion was not returned, indicating it's just the sexual connection. So I feel like someone is moving. See the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups? Someone here is moving towards the loving connection because in that connection there's love and someone's saying okay i'm done with this this you know this this ace of wands person it's just sex i'm going to get that out of my life i don't want to be tempted i just want to focus on the love and that's it okay uh someone here knows with that eight of swords energy and the two of pentacles it's not fair to be juggling two people and they want to release all right so virgo that could be you that could be your person 
clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. What do my Virgos need to hear from please? What do they need to hear, please? Okay, under the deck we have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. So we have the Star card, more Aquarian energy. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Six of Cups. And we have the Lover's card. Virgo. I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you. I feel like perhaps someone has been messing around with an ex or a past person sexually and this past person is absolutely fine with cutting off the connection page of swords the king of cups and the ace of swords i feel like someone's going to have a conversation and say listen i'm in love with somebody else you know what i'm saying i'm choosing someone else because the lover's card talks about making a decision so someone here is saying listen you know it's been fun we were friends for a little while. We're going to end things on good terms, but I'm being divinely guided to choose someone else. And I feel like this person's okay with it. I feel like they're okay with it. I don't feel like it's going to end in an ugly way. Let's see here. Tell me about the star card. Someone here is going to be receiving the truth. The star card and the king of swords. Tell me about the ten of swords. We've got the tower in the reverse. Tell me about the Six of Cups. We've got the Devil in the reverse. Capricorn, or Capricorn Energy. Tell me about the Lover's card. And the Chariot. Cancerian Energy. So what we have here... Okay, what we have here is a situation where Virgo, someone is, is coming in to speak the truth. With the King of Swords and the Star card, I feel like what happened, what's happening here is someone saying, listen, I have found someone that makes me really happy and I want to protect this. I want to be smart about this. With the Ten of Swords and the Tower in the reverse, me and you are never coming back together again. So therefore, with the Six of Cups and the Devil in the reverse, I feel like, you know, let's leave the past in the past. Let's leave in good terms. Let's not be angry. Let's not be jealous let's not be anything let's just leave it in the past and with the lover's card and the chariot cancerian energy gemini energy someone is saying listen i have to then make the decision to choose what's best for me with the knight of swords the eight of pentacles the eight of wands and the four of wands i feel like someone here truly wants to pursue a relationship with somebody stability marriage living together they really want to work on having a real relationship so someone here is about to have a conversation with a past person and say listen it's been fun. I still care about you. You know what I'm saying? But I, I need to protect my loving relationship. I need to protect the person that loves me and cares for me. So I can't do this anymore. Clarity, guidance, and love messages here. Tell me about the challenge for Virgo, please. Tell me about the challenge for Virgo, please. Tell me about the challenge for Virgo, please. Tell me about the challenge for Virgo. So we've got the nine of wands. And we have the tower in the reverse. Tell me about the challenge, please. Tell me about the challenge, please. And the three of cups. Yeah, I feel like someone's kind of dreading this. Yeah, I feel like someone's kind of dreading this. Um, someone here with the nine of wands. <sighs> They feel like someone might become defensive or, yeah, they feel like someone here might become defensive because of the third party situation. I think, I got to be honest here, I feel like this person feels like when they tell this person the truth, that this person's going to try to sabotage the new connection, telling them, oh, well, you know, they were at my house last night, blah, 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 you know, like that type of thing, right? So I feel like this person, because the tower in the reverse would be something not coming back together, and the nine of wands is someone who's hurt, the three of cups over a third party. So the challenge here is to do this in a way where the person that's being rejected, this past person, doesn't blow up someone's spot do you see what i'm saying tell me about the outcome please we've got the two of wands tell me about the outcome please so we've got the two of wands and the ten of wands yeah someone here has been very over like very burdened having to make a decision between two people very overwhelming 
And with the seven of wands, someone here has to push someone away. I mean, plain and simple. So one person has to get blocked out. There can only be one Virgo, right? <laughs> there can only be one. So guys, either someone, you know, has you on the chopping block or you have someone on the chopping block. So we have journey. We have goddess of the moon and we've got deceit. Yeah, see someone here. With the Angel of Strength, someone knows that they have to pull away from something. We have a connection that's moving forward. We have a connection that's going somewhere. But there's a secret here. Goddess of the Moon and Deceit. There's someone here that's keeping a secret. There's someone here that, you know, I, I feel like they're still messing around with a past person, possibly. Um, but that's got to change. That's got to change because things are maybe now becoming more serious with that Ace of Cups relationship. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Okay, we've got a consciousness of lack, professional assistance, and hidden motivations. Friends and colleagues. So, Virgo, I feel like what's happening here is, is this person might miss you. This person may uh, try to attempt to get you to stay, but they don't have good intentions. This person may be like, oh, I could show up at the workplace or I could come meet you at work. I really miss you. I feel like there are things happening in the workplace here. Or someone here may contact you for work reasons, like they need help with something. Uh, like, oh, I'm doing my taxes. Do you know uh, how to help me with this? Because it's because they miss you. They have uh, higher motivations. Okay, so some Someone here may be coming up with reasons, and I feel like it's the person that's being left behind, okay? They're coming up with reasons to try to communicate, all right? So, oh, okay, we've got, I'm not going to take it, but we've got wedding that popped out. This situation involves marriage. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos. Stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance, and pay attention to the red flags. And we've got wedding again under the deck, Virgo. So, I feel, Virgo, that you're about to meet somebody here um, where there's a lot of love, there's possibly a strong soul tie, and with Stay Optimistic, you're very, you have a lot of faith, a lot of hope in this connection, but there's a huge red flag here, and that red flag is that somebody here is in the process of releasing the past. Someone here has, has to make a decision, and they have to let go of the past. So there is a problem that needs to be taken care of. Tell me more about Virgo. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, it, this, whatever this third party is, is a huge, like you're seeing the red flag. So let's just say Virgo, you're the one who has to make a choice. You're realizing here that this is bad. You have one relationship that you have a lot of hope in it. You, you really feel like it can go somewhere and you're starting to realize that you have to push this X away because this is now turning into cheating. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's not good. That can cost you this amazing relationship. So someone here is realizing they're like waking up and saying, you know what? I'm not supposed to be doing this. I have to let this person go because this is crossing the boundary to cheating. And I'm going to end up losing. You see what I'm saying? With the full card here, I don't want to take that risk and lose this new love that I just found. All right. Okay, my loves. I hope you enjoyed and take care. Bye.